can't wait to hear what you have to say. Thank you very much. Wow, look at this audience here. So how many of you think your life experiences could fill a book? You could write a book with your experiences. Raise your hand. Exactly. Or even better yet, make great content for a TV movie. Anyone? <laughs> TV movie? <laughs> now, let's be honest. How many of you actually would be absolutely mortified to share your very personal and vulnerable story with the world? You raised your hands. But how would it feel to share that with the world? You're not alone. You're not alone. And many of you might be thinking, why would I possibly do that? Why would I do that? That's crazy. What would people think of me? How would that impact my professional career? Well, good news is I'm not going to invite you up here to share your personal story. <laughs> but it is my hope that one day you'll recognize the power of storytelling and have the courage to share your personal story with others. Why? It's simple. While everyone tells us knowledge is power, I am here today to tell you that the real power is in storytelling. Storytelling has the power to heal the world and the ability to build meaningful connections with humanity and within ourselves. Just look around you. The world is broken, lonely, divided. We spend our days wrapped up in conference calls, late night emails, and fierce debates on topics that only divide us. We have few hours to spend connecting with those we love and building meaningful relationships with our colleagues at work. Productivity rules our lives, and we are in a high-speed race to earn that next paycheck, that next promotion, that next big opportunity. So we are feeling alone. We are feeling trapped, and we're scrolling through social media, hiding behind our titles, our resumes on LinkedIn, and our profile pictures. Whether we want to admit it or not, we as a society are craving connection and the intimacy of storytelling. Since the beginning of time, storytelling has brought people together, making us think, feel, and connect with our families, friends, and communities. This is how we've been conditioned to receive information and is the preferred way of receiving knowledge and wisdom for centuries. Way before there were books or movies, tribal leaders would play out tales of their last hunt with intrigue, defeat, and victory, all to encourage and guide their young warriors. Mothers, they would sit around the kitchen table. For decades we've been doing this, passing down family traditions, sharing our experiences, our hardships, our struggles, for the next generation of women. This is how we have always connected, deepened our relationships, and built the foundation of trust with each other. Storytelling is a part of our human history and connects us at the heart. If it isn't history, if that's not enough for you, Science confirms the power of storytelling. From a scientific perspective, 
Experiencing a story increases our brain activity and releases specific neurochemicals which aid in creating connections. The first is dopamine. Listening to stories stimulates the same part of our brain as when we are experiencing pleasure. And in turn, this excites the neurons that create dopamine. Dopamine affects our emotions and movements and feelings of pleasure and pain. And then the next neurochemical is cortisol. This releases to help us focus our attention on the story, to get real focused. And it mostly occurs when we're in distress, when we're feeling that pain or that struggle of the storyteller. When our body experiences that, that sadness, that fear, endorphins are produced to take away that pain. So again, from a scientific perspective, there's a lot happening in our bodies and in our brains when we hear stories. So then the endorphins come in, and they take away that pain, and that helps us feel better. And finally, stories stimulate the creation of hormones, one being oxytocin. Oxytocin enhances feelings of trust and empathy and generosity. It's the combination of all these neurochemicals and all of these hormones that make us feel the whole experience that the storyteller is sharing with us, even though we have not been there ourselves. And from this, we grow more connected and empathetic towards another individual, a stranger, someone we may not even know. Storytelling is truly a powerful way of connecting. Storytelling not only creates empathy and builds connections, but it also heals and empowers us as a storyteller ourselves. To feel truly empowered, we need more than education, knowledge, opportunities. These are all important for advancement in society. But oftentimes, it is our own personal experiences that hold us back, right? It's those internal struggles that trauma, that tragedy, or other personal difficulties we're dealing with. In our hearts and in our minds, we protect and hold hostage to endless stories. These stories actually hold your healing power. As storytellers, we invite the world into, into our moment. And we're able to share our experiences, pass down the knowledge, release the pain and the fear and the shame. And the story itself then becomes a source of inner healing and a message of hope and inspiration for others. When our vulnerability becomes our power, that is when our story becomes the moment that we rise. I have seen the power of storytelling firsthand at our Unveiled Beauty events, a journey that began with finding the bravery to share my own story and helping almost 50 women to share theirs. The power of storytelling impacts more than just our personal lives, it impacts our professional lives too. We all know that life and business have one significant thing in common, that is people. People are the heartbeat of our business. Business is about people. People own businesses. People run and operate businesses. Whether we are selling products or services, we are connecting with people. Whether we are from a small or a large organization, we are leading teams of people and we are working with clients and customers. Creating these authentic connections with others is good business, and it feels good. And healing our employees and ourselves creates empowering leaders who lead with heart and drive increased profits. You see, it's simple. 
people are important and deserve to be seen for more than their resumes or their marketing demographics. People matter. Their stories matter. Building bridges and developing meaningful connections is crucial for our happiness as individuals, our success in business, and our survival as a society. Let me say this one more time. Storytelling has the power to heal the world and the ability to create meaningful connections with humanity and within ourselves. Thank you.